Hi everyone and welcome back to another Bork No Game video. Today's video is AK2 Solution Connect News, pretty much the KR stuff. We're going to talk about global and its current state, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. Look at this, we are going to be getting cross-server PvP based off of the KR notes. Usually we match them pound for pound as far as matches goes. We're going to go into a different set of news found here in Reddit. Thank you to u slash damdam333 for putting this together. This is really nice. It pretty much translates everything. I know Google Translate does it pretty well, but this to me looks a lot cleaner. So Burial is one of the new units that's going to be coming via the Battle Pass. We've talked about it before. You can see his skills in the wiki, but you can also view his skills over here in the partner section. He's going to be at the very bottom if you want to take a look at him. And for the most part, the fact that he's 18 costs i think that's a little interesting quite heavy for a new character so let's go ahead and look at this looks like he can do a bit of aoe just like looking at it briefly i don't want to cover it too much because i want to be a little bit excited i just wanted to show the fact that he is going to be available now the next thing is going to be actually you know the aries battlefield our aries battlefield or battleground here is going to be rta now if you didn't know what rta is rta is real-time pvp if you've played games like epic 7 summoners wars seven deadly sins or any game where it's like you are actively engaged with another human being real time during PvP. That essentially is what RTA is. So we won't be fighting bots anymore essentially because that's all we do in you know Arena. I'm happy that they're putting this in there. I'm really curious how the implementation will go because Illusion Connect is really driven on a one shot meta basis. So if everyone's just one shotting each other, I don't know how complicated RTA can get. But I'm also really like looking forward to cross server pollinization where we can actually interact with other people because some folks in previous servers, you know, they don't get to see the same amount of love that we do because, you know, in server one, that's also going to be interesting because server one's going to be stronger than the other servers. But let's keep going over here. So next is going to be Kasumi and Diana's Awakening. Now, with these two awakenings, it's very interesting. We've been getting back to back awakenings all of a sudden. Like we're getting like the Phoebe one right now and the Hersey one and then the Hotaru one like they just released and now they're also releasing Kasumi and Diana in February this like I like Kasumi's awakening I like their designs but it's just interesting how we're getting so many awakenings but we're not really getting a balance on how things are occurring we'll talk about more about how I feel about this you know later on in the video okay let's go ahead and go over here now Abby and Yi King are going to be the new characters that are going to be released they are on the wiki if you want to check them out I have to say Abby's definitely the waifu that I want to pull for she's already in the game as well I do not see Yi King or I don't see her availability yet I'm sure she'll pop in eventually but one of the things that I enjoy about Illusion Connect is the waifu designs. They're really like well fleshed out, if you know what I mean. And this is why I play gotchas is because I want to enjoy the waifus that are available. So I'm super happy to see that they're finally adding a waifu that I can definitely stand by. But let's go ahead and cover other things. I'm so excited. Whether she's good or not, I don't really care. I'm just going to pull for her because I like her overall design. I'm talking about Abby. And I'll also pull for Yi King because I also like her design. But hopefully they're on the same banner. Let's go over here and talk about Valentine's event. So it's really cool that Eileen is going to get a Valentine skin. This character doesn't seem familiar. Is that like Phoebe or a new character? And I'm not sure who this character is. Chumi. That's the Valentine Valentine unit. So kind of interesting that they're taking February pretty seriously, but I'm also happy that we've been getting monthly events through Illusion Connect. It goes to show that the development team will continue to add stuff no matter what. Here's some of the new skins. Phoebe's new skin with a phoenix looks pretty cool. Nafir's new skin where she's like, I guess like a queen or something. That looks really sick. And then here is going to be Kasumi's skin. It doesn't seem to fit her overall aesthetic because, you know, Kasumi seems to be more of like a baddie where here she looks like she's holy or something, but I get it. I, I like it still. Like, it's still a good skin. I'm interested what the skill effects will do. And then Hunter Leader is actually going to be getting revamps just like the Paladin Leader. So he might see more viability. I guess they're balancing the leaders out because, you know, how Sork is really strong. They're making Paladin strong. So I guess they're going to make Nightmare 
Nightmare Hunter really strong because Nightmare Hunter is the second best free to play leader that I have to say outside of Sword. Paladin is not really free to play friendly. And then they're planning to rework Hersey as well. Kind of interesting that they're going to do that because it already seems really strong. So more to that. And then finally, Camille is also getting a rework, which is actually really good because I wish Camille was a little bit better. His mechanics seem a little weird to me. So hopefully these changes with Hersey and Camille make them better. And maybe Camille will get an awakening because, you know, Hersey already has one. And they seem to be dropping awakenings like left and right lately. And I completely agree with this growth aids like Reddit post where pretty much like it's unfair the way it was implemented. There just needs to be things that needs to be improved with the way global is being handled. I agree with everyone. No, I'm not trying to protect Illusion Connect or Super Prism. It's one of those things where I want to shed light on both things when I play gotcha games. I'm not someone who's just like, hey, I'm going to dislike Illusion Connect because it exists. No, I'm going to give both sides of my story. And my side of the story is I like how free to play friendly it is. I like the drop of events. I like the way that flows but I dislike the way the regions are being handled. I dislike the way we're being mistreated in global. There just needs to be a point where, hey, you know, you need to start giving us the proper treatment as a community because I'm pretty sure we're spending just as much, if not an equal amount. And it doesn't make sense as to why our representatives aren't pretty much answering our questions, right? We need some sort of confirmation letting us know that they are working on the Miyuki awakening. We need some sort of confirmation that they did mess up our compensation. You know what I mean? Even if they gave us like less gems or everything, I just want them to do something because the way we're being handled as a community is just completely irresponsible on their part. If this continues, I don't see the community getting any better and it's going to make it so that eventually the only thing that you're going to see on Reddit is just negative stuff. And it sort of is right in some way because there's not enough positive things. And it's really sad to see when the gacha game starts only seeing negative posts. That's when I know that the game is on a warpath for pretty much the community to start killing itself. And that's how I also know when it's also going to be a dying breed of a game because I experienced this with Sinnoh Alice. I'm not saying Sinnoh Alice is dead, but it's definitely a game on its very last leg right if project fusion doesn't turn out right then Sino alice can be pretty much axed and with illusion connect if they don't do something quick with the way like the community is handling things this is not going to have a bright future ahead of it not because there is a lack of events not because of lack of gameplay it's just because of the fact that the community is only seeing the negative stuff and they're not seeing any positive changes within the actual game and that is the worst thing that could possibly happen to an amazing gotcha like this i love illusion connect i don't want to see it fail because there's no excuse for them to mess up this hard there's no excuse you just have to add stuff that's it it's not we're not even asking for gameplay we're not asking for better patches we're legit just asking for better treatment that's all you have to do super prism that's all you have to do is give us miyuki awakening give us proper gem compensation give people what they want to hear that's all you have to do you don't need constant updates right now that's the issue with the way the illusion connect ip is being handled right now it's not because of the game it's not because of the gameplay it's straight up with the way you're dealing with the community and it's straight up unprofessional and i dislike it that's the only thing i have to say about illusion connect and with the way it's being handled right now. It's improper and it's killing the game because you're just not giving people what they need and what they deserve right now. People have spent countless hours and they're raising their waifus. They put money into this game, all right? This is one of the most free-to-play games on launch and you're ruining the community by just not giving people the proper compensation. It's so easy. Just do it. It's so easy. Anyways, I don't like doing this in videos, but it's really getting under my skin. I don't want this game to fail. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm getting angry. That's why I'm getting emotional. I just don't want this game to fail. It has such a bright future ahead of it. But if this continues, yeah. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Princess Connect stuff has been doing well, thankfully. Once we hit 10K, we'll be doing that giveaway. Also, I'm looking for Man With Hope and Samuel Sama. So if 10K, we'll do another one. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.